Yo, what's up, guys? I just want to say welcome to another one of my walkthroughs. So this is the start of my alien isolation walkthrough. Uh, this is mission one, closing the book. I'm so happy to be bringing you guys this walkthrough because the Alien franchise is probably one of my favorite uh, movie franchise slash game franchise that is out there now. And I played this game already, and I gotta say they did a fantastic job with everything. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm just gonna show you guys where all the collectibles are and how to beat the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into mission one here. So I'm not gonna be playing with no um, head tracking or noise detection. And also, I'm going to be playing on hard mode. So, let's go ahead and start it up. And get into the nightmare, boys. See you guys after the cutscene. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe they'll be 
be some closure for you. Alright, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> so here we are, we just woke up out our hypersleep. The first thing we're gonna do is sign in. So now we get to explore the Torrens. <laughs> so sweet looking. I'm not going to keep you guys in here too long. I'm going to try to beat this mission, this prequel as quick as possible, but um, I just think it looks so sweet. It, this part here looks like um, the sleeping tubes in that was in an Astromo. That's pretty sweet. I just like how the they did the lighting as well, how they pop one like that. It's pretty sweet too. So in here is where we get dressed at. Um, we're gonna go over here. As you see, you, <laughs> the lockers even got everybody's names on them. Samuels. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and hop in the shower here since we just woke up from um, a long sleep. So, we gotta give ourselves a shower. Right there's the commode. Look, here's Ripley and see, uh, Taylor is right there. I think that's pretty cool how they detailed it like that. So, these are just some notes that's on the wall. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get dressed. So now that we're dressed, we're going to go ahead and continue. So right there's the people that's on the ship with us. There's five in all. You can go ahead and turn that off if you guys want to. So if you check these, there's stuff you can grab, whatnot. There's a save station here if you guys want to save it, but I'm not going to do it. So here's a access terminal. Uh, these are part of the collections that you guys can get during the game. Um, whenever I click on them, if you guys want to, you can go ahead and pause the video and read them. I will, whenever I click on them, I'll take my good time going over them so you guys will have a chance to pause the video and read them. But over here, I forgot to show you guys, it's Verlaine and Connor's lockers. This must be where they go and chill out, you know. So we're going to go ahead and continue forward and speak with Samuel here in a few seconds. Some cool looking space suits. looks like the ones that was in alien so if you guys can remember this is the exactly identical to the med bay that was in alien where Kane spent most of his time after he got the face hugger on his face ah Ripley Samuels did you wake up early well I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. 
I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Okay, so back to the game here. I'll just go ahead and show you guys around a little bit. Um. Anyway, that, that's pretty much it. I remember all everybody sitting out there looking through the window as um, Captain Dallas and Ash was looking at Kane and the alien on his face, the face hugger. Um, if you remember, this was the X-ray machine, the MRI machine, whatever you guys call it. That's pretty much it. My one of my favorite parts in Alien is whenever uh, Parker was out here and he's like, "How's he breathing with that thing on his face?" He kept saying it over and over again. <laughs> Parker was probably one of my favorite that was in Alien. But as you guys know, he he uh he lasts pretty good almost through the whole movie but not he lasted till the very end you know Lambert didn't move out of the way Taylor good morning Ripley it's certainly not good I very much doubt it's morning either sorry I feel like death I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly you get used to it I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Hey, so that pretty All much. Down to the bridge, approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Looks like we are, but this is pretty much taken out of the alien, alien movie. Whenever uh, Kane. The whole chest burster scene, which was probably the most iconic scene in all the Alien franchise. That first time you witness that chest burster scene, that first part in the Alien franchise, that was something brilliantly, you know, made up. A lot of it got a lot of stuff from that. But anyway. Um, as you guys can see, there's porridge oats and a bunch of other stuff here, corn flakes, bran flakes, then you got milk, butter, and cream, so there's pretty much detailed here. Then if you go over here, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here, like games and stuff. We'll get to that. Then everybody must be drinking coffee and gnaws. Uh, over here, we got some cookies and and biscuits and crackers <laughs> so sweet same thing with that side so here's another access terminal I'll show you guys that's pretty much was it on that access terminal you guys make sure you don't forget to search this and we're going to go ahead to the bridge now hope you all had a restful journey the Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain she was a wreck when I bought her took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit she pays for herself now you said we're approaching Sevastopol station are we docking I believe your contact is Marshall Waits is that right I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? 
OSMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. So that's what we're going to do here in a few seconds to get... We're going to go get our briefing documents. So here's the mother computer, if you guys remember, from Alien. Base. I think they did a good job with the whole ship and stuff. It looks like something out of. Looks like the alien. The ship in Alien. Which I thought was pretty interesting. Is the planet and the sun. Anyway, now that we're done gloating over how the. What cool. Like how cool they did with the whole cockpit and everything. We're just going to go ahead and start the cutscene here. So I'll talk to you guys in the next mission. Peace out. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. This waits Colonial Marshal Sebastopol State in serious situation. Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. Station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted sound will suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> 